The investigation continues into the death of a Park City Mountain Resort ski patroller falling from a chairlift yesterday. The 29-year-old man who lived in Mill Creek is from Massachusetts. He died after a tree hit the chairlift that he was riding on. News specialist Alex Cabrera reports. Talk to any ski patroller and they will tell you they love their job, which makes what happened at the shortcut chairlift at Park City Mountain Resort on Monday tough to hear. There was a very large pine tree that tipped over and hit the cable line. A ski patroller was sitting in a lift chair right in front of where that tree hit. The impact caused the chairs to move up and down, throwing him out of his chair. He fell 25 to 50 feet. This wasn't over a run. There was a ravine uh, where he had fallen and uh, it took uh, at least 20 minutes is what we've been told for ski patrollers to get down there, dig him out of the snow, and start performing life-saving measures. The 29-year-old man died where he fell. Investigators arrived soon after. One of our deputies, he described it as chest-deep snow to get down to this individual. The overall investigation includes Utah, who has jurisdiction over chairlifts, as well as OSHA, who will be looking into workplace conditions for the employee. But no matter exactly what happened, there's a chance, according to the Summit County Sheriff's Office, that this is simply an accident with tragic circumstances. Certainly, there's a lot of questions that will come into play uh, as far as, uh, as what caused that to happen. Yes, there was a lot of snow. Uh, there could be other factors, the, the health of the tree, the, the proximity of the tree, the, all of those types of things. The medical examiner's office will determine the exact cause of death. In the meantime, Park City Mountain Resort is keeping the shortcut chairlift closed and working with its employees, helping them with whatever they need. Especially those ski patrollers, they, they are really tight-knit. The name of the man is expected to be released tomorrow. In Park City, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.